Hey everyone, it's Raigo here from Raigo Gaming and welcome to another episode of Learning to Play City Skylines. Um, so in the previous episode we looked at how to use the Move It mod and all the different functions available in that to make it easier for us to get things in the correct place. We um, added a new turbine interchange from the Steam Workshop, so you can see it pictured here. It's a really nice looking interchange there. Um, and we're going to add another turbine interchange on the other side, put a road through our forestry area, and then we're going to build up some forestry industry. So we're also going to add in a couple of extra mods. So um, the link to my mod collection is in the description of this video. Just click the show more button if you can't see it, and it should appear. Click on that link and it will take you to my mod collection. Otherwise, you can always um, search for uh, the mod as well. So in my mod collection, the ones we're going to add is the parallel road tool so scroll down to P so if you click on the plus for the parallel road tool I've already added mine in um, so you can click on plus to add that in so this allows us to um, create two roads in parallel and in fact more roads in parallel if you wanted to um, and that way it's easier to get things to line up nicely rather than doing it one uh, one road at a time so I want that to do that also click on the plus for the picker tool so the picker tool makes it very easy for you to choose um, an object in the game so that you can place another one of that object down rather than having to go through all the buttons and the menus and so on. So parallel row tool and the picker tool, so add those. And the other one we're going to do is we're going to add the simple clock mod which adds a little clock to your game because um, as you know you can spend hours and hours playing the game and then um, you kind of lose track and um, you might miss out on some important things. So add the simple clock and that puts a little clock in there. Uh, you don't have to I guess if you don't want to. It's not that important but I like having the clock there just to keep track of what the time is. Alright so add those three mods to our game. So remember as we add more mods it uses more resources on your computer so that's why we're not going to add everything at this stage. Uh, we'll just add the ones that we need as we go through the particular episodes. Alright so if we go back to the game we're going to um, add a new interchange on this side. We'll, we'll do a turbine interchange. And from the traffic guide that I talked about um, in the earliest episodes, um, which shows you how to create a road hierarchy, they kind of recommend that you have roughly 60 unit different separation between your um, interchanges. So 60 units is roughly about here. Okay, so the reason why we do that is that if we have another interchange, say here, then there's not much distance between this interchange and this interchange to allow cars to change lanes and get to the lane that they actually want to go to, right? So that's why you want to give lots of room so that cars can change their lanes well before they get to where they need to turn off or carry on, um, and it means you just get less bottlenecks. So one of the main things of... Um, causing traffic problems is having too many intersections close to each other along your highway that really does cause huge traffic um, snarl ups so you want to avoid that so just have good separation between your interchanges for your highway um, and it will stop that problem from occurring so we're going to add an interchange down this side cool and you can see that from here to here is 86 units so that's a good distance away so there's no problem there. Alright so we added the turbine interchange in the previous episode when we talked about the move it mod. Uh, so again if you didn't watch the previous episode you should probably watch that because the move it mod is indispensable to help you when you're creating your city. Um, and we also added the turbine interchange from the um, Steam Workshop. So we want to add this in. Whoop not quite big enough, need a bit more room. Cool, and kind of just want to make these line up a little bit. So you can use the, hold the right mouse button down to rotate um, the asset and then just get it to line up how we want it to be. About there is cool. And then we just need to join up uh, the pieces here. Alright, so let's just do that, and then we'll connect that up to there, connect that to there. 
So you notice that we get a little bit of a kink over here, but again, we have the Move It mod installed, so just click on that node, and we can move it over a little bit. Sweet. And you can just smooth things out a little bit if you want to. Cool, so that adds that interchange. We just want to connect up this side. So let's take it back a bit more. And go from here to here. There to there. And, oh, that's pretty good, pretty reasonable. I don't think we really need to worry. Oh, there's a little bit of a kink here, right? So let's just move that over slightly. Sweet. Maybe that one is a little bit weird. Awesome, there we go. So now we've got our two interchanges. So what I want to do for the forestry area, I want to have a big arterial road, pretty much coming out of here, going through the middle, connect up to here, and then we'll have some collector roads and local roads to fill in our farming area, uh, sorry, forestry area, and then we can start to produce more forestry. And what we want to do from here is have a road in fact, we can just go straight through here, right? We've got an arterial road here. So we can just go straight through here and connect that up to there. That would be a good thing to do. All right, so let's do that. So what we want to do is upgrade this to an arterial road. So that was one of our... Oh, so the picker... So at the moment, if I want to choose a road, I have to go into our menu system and choose the correct road. Sometimes it's hard to remember where they are. So we can use the picker mod. So you see there's a little, um, what's it called, a dropper. So click on that. And then if you click anything, it selects that in your menu system down here. And that way you don't have to find it. So you know, if I want an arterial road, just choose the picker mod. There we go. And I choose that one. If I want a, uh, a collector road, choose the picker mod. Click on that and it selects that one. So it just makes it very easy for you to um, select the things you want. You can also do it with um, buildings as well. Click on the landfill. Oh, maybe it doesn't work on, the la on that. Uh, maybe you have to turn that off. Nope, doesn't seem to work on buildings. Um, so it's mainly for roads um, that it seems to work on. All right, so we choose the road um, and then we can just upgrade through here. We're gonna lose some buildings, but that's okay. They will get rebuilt. Now for these ones, um, I c it won't let us click here because these buildings um, are special buildings. So that's the firehouse and the police station. But again, uh, we could move them normally by just selecting on it, click on the relocate building and we can just move it over a little bit. Same for this one. Or we could have used the move it mod and that would have let us move it as well. Sweet, and then we'll use the picker mod, take that road, and then we'll upgrade that. Sweet, so we've got a nice big fat arterial road going through. We want to bring this up to here. So bring it up straight. Now we're going to have to curve it around. So what I want to do is have a road that comes kind of in the, in the middle of these two um, parts of the highway. So we'll do this bring this kind of straight out here and we'll fix this bit up in a minute and then what I want to do is have three lanes connecting up to here three lanes connecting up to here and then they'll just split off um, in the way they want so in our roading system so we haven't already got a three lane one way road so that's the one we want to look for so that's a six lane one way road which is not what we want so is it in the medium roads that's a four lane one way that is a four lane one way. So it must be in this one, small roads. There it is. So three lane one way, so choose that. Actually, you might want to curve, oh, uh, so go straight. Yeah, you want to curve it around a little bit. So let's use the curve tool. So I'll pull it out to there. And then wrap it around. Do the same thing for that one. That looks roughly even, so it looks quite good. And then we will turn that around the other way. Now, it's a slight problem. We've got uh, three lanes. Now, we need to do our lane mathematics here, right? So um, let's go through and fix up this turbine and do the lane mathematics that we did uh, last time. So we want a two-lane highway. Sweet. 
So the way that remember the way that lane mathematics works. We've got three lanes coming into here. One comes off, so there should be two lanes over here. So that should go down to two. All right, so it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. Boom. This one is one lane. This is one lane. So two, one plus one is two. So that should be two lanes here, right? And we'll do the lane connectors in a minute. So we did this in the previous episode. So you could probably skip this if you watched the previous episode. So we'll just make that. So again, some ones you can't do. But remember we have the Anarchy mod. So go Control A to turn Anarchy on. And it will allow us to upgrade that road. Control A to turn Anarchy off again. Sweet. And again we've got one lane plus one lane. So that should be two lanes there. So again go Anarchy. And it lets us upgrade that. Anarchy tool is really, really handy. <laughs> Um, again over here, 1 plus 1, so that should be 2 lanes, and then over here, 1 plus 1, so that should be, oh we already did that one, so that's already 2 lanes, is there any other place, over here, that was the other one, 1 plus 1, so that should be 2 lanes there, sweet. Alright, so uh, just need to do the lane mathematics this way, so again, 3 coming, 1 comes off, so that should go down to two lanes across here. Anarchy. I might just leave Anarchy on while I do this side as well. Alright, can turn that off. Sweet. Awesome. Alright, so remember we've got two lanes plus two lanes, so that should be four lanes here. Right, so we want to give a couple of stretches of four lanes to allow for nice merging and then they can sort themselves out. So let's have a look for a four lane highway. That's a five lane highway. Four lane highway, there we go. So we'll put it a couple of stretches. That gives them enough time for the cars to sort themselves out and they can merge into three lanes. Sweet, so that's that side, so we want to do that on this side as well. So a couple of lanes of, a couple of stretches of four lanes, a couple of segments. Sweet. And then on this side, um, because we've got our arterial road, we've got um, two lanes plus two lanes going into three lanes. So we'll leave it at three lanes for now, and then if we find that, that that's causing a problem later on, then we can fix that up. Um, later on as well, and then the same for the other side too. Okay, so let's put in um, a six lane road here. Kind of in the middle of these two. Sweet, and then if we use our picker mod, and then we can pick this rather than trying to find it, which makes things much easier. So, mods are a very wonderful addition to the game. Alright, so let's use the curve tool. Actually, I need a bit more space there. Uh, let's pick that, make that longer. Delete that, just gives us a bigger curve. Um, no, actually, a little bit more. About to there. Sweet. Alright, again, let's use our picker mod that road. Alright, so let's curve that in. There we go. Sweet, and then just get the lane here, get the direction the right way. Cool, so again, we'll just see if 2 plus 2 going into 3 causes a problem later. Um, if it does, then we can um, sort that out later on. So I've done that. Next thing we're going to do is going to use the Traffic Manager mod to get all the lanes working correctly and set up our lane connectors and so on. So let's go to the Traffic Manager mod. Let's do our lanes. So if you look down here, you can see that we've got a straight one, a straight, and also going around to the right. So we don't want cars coming down here and going around that way, right? They should just use the turbine interchange. So we don't want that at all. So if we go control click there, it <coughs> almost fixes it, but not quite. So we can use that, make that straight, 
and that way they all have to go straight um, through there cool these are all going to go on to here which is perfectly fine so uh, that one's already got a dedicated tuning lane so that's not a problem let's follow it through out to here this is fine uh, we'll need to do the lane connectors over here a bit later on we just need to fix this one up so that should be just straight straight and straight awesome so that's that side done let's look at this side there's a dedicated tuning lane there so that's all good and there is a dedicated tuning here so that's all good so the next thing is to just do our lane connectors so choose the lane connector so over here we want to make sure that they all of these merge into their each of their four lanes so click on this go control s and it puts in each lane so that one goes into here this one goes into here that goes to that one that goes to that one so now they're not clashing with each other and they can all go at full speed into here when they get to here they can then start to change lanes when they merge down to three lanes so one lane connector there we want one on the other side so right click to get off that particular junction go to this junction control s right click so that does that one then over here click on this one control s so they stay in their lanes right click click on this one control s and oh oh yeah so we said we weren't going to worry about that okay so uh, what that will do is these two will have their own dedicated lanes and these two will merge into one lane over here so that's fine we'll see if that's going to cause a problem later on sweet and then over here control s does that over here control s does that so we've done that side no we didn't do this one control s so that does that one awesome here's one so it is easy to miss out some but um, just do your best in trying to remember to do all of them sweet so that's all done so now we can let the cars carry on and they'll sort themselves out and get onto the new um, interchange sweet and then we just want to connect up our collector roads down here so you just want to put a little curve in so, let's bring that back to there use the picker mod to pick that and then we want to curve it around there's not much of a curve is there slight curve that way line up with that curve it in there there we go awesome that looks pretty cool all right and then we're going to use all this area in here for a new housing um, area okay so we want to have a kind of fancy housing area out here part, out past the farms and create a new suburb sweet and then let's just connect up uh, the roads over here so we want to have a new, another six lane road down here to allow for the here so let's do that sweet and then let's use the picker mod like that and we'll use the curve tool again and then we just need to do our traffic manager stuff sweet and we don't have to worry about that and then we just need to fix up the lane arrows here sweet so they all go onto there these all go onto here so there's no problem awesome right so remember in a previous episode we set uh, traffic manager to do no despawning which is hard mode so basically if there's any traffic jams the game won't delete any cars it will be up to us to fix that up and you can see our turbine integers are working quite nicely and some of the cars are now using here to get into our city um, and to get into our farming district as well so that's all good so all we need to do now is put in our arterial road for the middle of our farming area here 
and then we can start to build it up. So again, let's just use the bigger mod. Alright, uh, so let's put a road. Yeah, about through here somewhere. Cool, and then we want to curve that in. So sometimes the roads will be a bit weird because our terrain is not flat. So um, I normally don't worry too much about it, but I guess it depends on how picky you are. Let's bring that up. It's 180 there. Let's bring that one over a bit more. Cool, and then we'll curve that around. Well, it was a bit funny. <laughs> okay, oops. Sweet. All right, so they can get off at either interchange, come into here, and then we can start to build in some um, collector roads. So let's fill in this area here with some farming. So we'll put in a collector road. So remember, a collector road, we're going to use um, a t four lane road. So that should be in the medium roads. Um, so before we use the um, the small four lane road uh, because we were upgrading the previous ones which we already had lanes in but this time we can use something slightly bigger if we wanted so let's try hmm. <coughs> maybe a four lane road with a median that could be quite interesting so let's pull a collector road out here <coughs> So we're just going to use a simple grid pattern because it makes the most efficient use of space. So I'm not going to worry about curves or anything. This is going to line up with somewhere. Let's pull one out of here. Sweet. Now there's a nice little rock there, so we don't want to destroy it. So luckily for us, we can use the move it mod and we can move it somewhere and then we can place it again later on somewhere. Cool, and then we can have some collector roads coming off those, um, oh sorry, local roads coming off these collector roads um, which feed into the arterial road. Sweet, so let's use some dirt roads for our local roads because it's a farming area and it would look kind of nice with a dirt track. So let's use the dirt road. Alright, so we don't want to connect the dirt road to the arterial road, because remember the hierarchy is that collector roads connect to the arterial roads and local roads connect to the um, collector roads only. So let's put one all the way across there, and then we can put some roads across here, making the most efficient use of our space. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Um, got quite a few intersections here, but if it causes a major problem, we can redesign this area later on if we want to. Alright, now before we start to fill in industry, uh, we need some more residential because at the moment our unemployment rate is 3%. And if you fill in industry, they're not going to get enough workers and we'll get the not enough workers problem. Right, so we'll need to um, build in some residential area. So we'll do that in the next episode. Um, so we've completed the outline of our forestry area and then uh, we will start to fill that in 
build in some residential area in here as well we're going to make it a bit nicer and use some nice roads and have kind of a more interesting layout and so on so we'll do that in the next episode all right so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode if you did give it a thumbs up um, if you like my content then please subscribe it will just help with the youtube algorithm for other people to find it find my videos um, and hopefully i will catch you in the next one all right that's it that's it from me raya i will catch you next time